Apparently, whatever you thought of was... Collective. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey. Um, yeah, it literally came to me like 15 minutes ago. How do I trust myself? Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Should you? I, this is an interesting little twist I'm giving. Sorry, you guys. I'll explain self-trust in a minute, but... I want you to ask yourself the question, should you trust yourself? I can tell you nobody in this field is going to ask you this question. Really? What if the answer is yes and no? You guys, come on, feedback. This is like the <laughs> deadest crowd I've ever talked to. Are you asking me? I thought you were asking them. Same difference. Cool. Um, well, I can, well, well, this is my, my battle, I guess, because I feel I should trust myself, but then again, if, well, I don't know, hang on, wait, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> shit, <laughs> well, oh. yeah, well, at what points exactly, because I get a lot of, I guess, stop it, you're making me laugh. <laughs> no. In what, well, when would you not trust yourself? What would, what would that situation look like? Oh, I love these conversations, oh my God. Yay, let's get deep, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Let me introduce you to a philosopher's mind. Okay. Okay. In the graduation of consciousness, we could call philosophy one of these graduations of consciousness, you have to get to the point where you can leave the door open that you could always potentially be wrong. Mm -hmm. You understand this? <laughs> and I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually getting aggressive with you. Like this, I'm teaching you stuff I know. And I can literally look at you and say, I know it 100%. But... If I don't leave open a window saying that potentially I could be completely wrong, you should never trust me as a teacher, ever. It is like the most dangerous thing you could do. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> do you understand why? Um, no. Because there is Hang no on. being in existence mm. that can tell you what they don't know that they don't know. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. This is my nutty professor personality. It's Graciela's favorite it. one too. No, it's great. <laughs> I'm vibing. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. This is so unexpected. Sitting here or me talking to you about the unknown? Um, I think just this whole day for me, to be honest with you, but... We don't have to get into that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab myself now. Okay. <laughs> this is my first laugh attack on stage, I think. <laughs> Coping mechanism, <laughs> can't deal. <laughs> it, is my it is my coping mechanism. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> oh gosh. I forgot my question. <laughs> no. I remember your question. Okay, no cool. I'm listening. I do apologize. Or I don't. <laughs> you shouldn't because. This group needs to laugh. Oh, I'm so glad that I <laughs> did that for you all. You're and welcome. Teal. And Teal also. You're so welcome. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, need, I know. I need, to, I need to ground myself. Hang on. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm seriously stopping. <laughs> is it normal? No, this is normal for me. It's just not normal for this situation. <laughs> Please say something. <laughs> <laughs> Please say something. <laughs> oh my God. Something. Just okay. That's cute. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? <laughs> I went into the microphone, but yeah, I'm good. There is no being in existence that can account for what they don't know that they don't know. None. I, I want to get very aggressive at this point because those of you who are sitting in the audience obviously by virtue of being here today are on the leading edge of thought. Source itself, that which we have been calling God, has a subconscious mind. If it didn't, you would not exist. Source is coming to know itself through every being in existence. It means it doesn't fully know itself. It means that there is stuff that source doesn't know it doesn't know. So there is no being in existence including collective consciousness that knows what it doesn't know. Therefore, you cannot fully trust yourself. Hmm. Boom. <laughs> I hear you. You and I should go like, we should go like touring around the country and you could be the... <laughs> oh my God, please. That would be amazing. You I could <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> don't say those things if you don't mean it. <laughs> You'd be such a good bridge between me and people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um, are you not a people person? What do you You're mean? not a people person? No, no, what do you mean by that? I'm a good bridge between you and people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does that mean to you? <laughs> I don't understand. Do you not see how relatable you are to people? Oh, uh, I do, yeah. You're like extra relatable to people. And even though I'm more relatable than some people in this field, I, I, there's still an element that's not particularly human. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> At least you're aware. <laughs> I'll just back on this and be like, oh my God, stop talking. <laughs> I like you. I like you too. <laughs> God, what are we talking about? Self-trust. <laughs> don't trust yourself because you don't know shit. <laughs> She's like my translator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds dismal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm, we got this. <laughs> okay, what we have to do as people is to hold that in the same way that a philosopher holds the concept that they could always be wrong. <laughs> so, in this hand, I don't know what I don't know, so I can't completely trust myself, nor should I. Now, on the other hand, I trust myself. Okay. That's your new life. Okay. Sounds hard, huh? Well, I, yeah, I don't get it. My logical mind's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. She doesn't get it. No, no. Let's try again. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> Remember how earlier I was talking about cognitive dissonance? Yeah. And cognitive dissonance is the progression of human consciousness. Yeah. 
we have to be able to develop the capacity to hold polarities. Okay. That means at the same time as you trust yourself. You don't trust yourself. Yes. I got it, guys. <laughs> this seems like a contradiction, but it's actually a complementary truth. It's like you're always leaving, you can be in the house, but you're leaving the door open to the house. And that is what... <laughs> I don't know why you know that, sorry. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there, <laughs> don't worry about it, so sorry. Go there and what? Oh no, that, that, <laughs> what's that thing that they say? Um, the lights are on but no one's home, I don't know why that came to me. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are on but no one's home. Oh yeah, it's like you're, it's like you're retarded, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. You're a smart one. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> You're at home and the door's open. <laughs> what did you say? Yes, you're at home and the door is open. <laughs> you can be inside the house and have the door open. Mm, the door open is... That's not is the way I was raised. <laughs> Everything's on lockdown. <laughs> Everyone wants to steal your shit. <laughs> Log parents. <laughs> They're crazy. I love them. But I hate them at the same time. <laughs> Hey, that's cognitive dissonance. There you go. Oh, the polarity is real. <laughs> oh my God. You, you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are you speechless? I, I am. Oh, okay, great. This could be the best talk show ever. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Do you understand what I mean, though, by holding, holding the concept that you potentially shouldn't trust yourself at the same time as trusting yourself I do but then again I can be <laughs> at what point uh, well how deep can I go into that like I, I hear you and I understand what you're saying and I guess to be fair I don't really understand why I was asking you this question because I guess it was a get like for the collective and I don't have an <laughs> exact example of when I would need to trust and not trust myself you just have to act and then whatever unfolds, unfolds. No. No? We don't do that. All right. <laughs> don't do that at home. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Okay. Because based on your prior life experiences, quite often the impulses that you will get in any given moment will lead to a very bad decision if you walk down that road with that philosophy. Mm. Well. You just do whatever. That's how I ended up drunk and pregnant. Yeah. Oh, babe. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but are you happy now? Me? Yeah. That never happened to me. Oh, okay. Well, then, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You're just tripping me out. <laughs> You're making a funny, weren't you? <laughs> yes, I was making a funny. I made significantly worse decisions than that. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. <coughs> We've all been there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you're it's so, so much good. Fun. <laughs> oh I'm so glad you're enjoying my, my energy. <laughs> oh yeah, this I'm actually great. enjoying your energy so much it's hard for me to focus. I know. That's the day in the life of me, seriously. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's a major relief. I, my mind is like Tesla. <laughs> This is so much better. I feel like I'm high and eating oh, pie. Hey, this is great. Yeah. But you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not. I don't know. I'm not gonna stop. I can't deal. <laughs> I see what the group needed is comic relief. <laughs> I wasn't doing it for you, was I? <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just to check, you're all laughing with me, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. Not that I need that validation or anything. It's so good. Because <laughs> I needed the validation, Matt, obviously. <sighs> okay, I, I'm going to... Can I have one more? Grassy, come... Well, somebody, I don't know. Grassy, come up here. 
Love your pants. They're very grounding. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. I don't think I could pull off red pants, but they look great on you. Okay. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> don't know. I <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Okay, self-trust. You know how I explained the, the, the consciousness splits? I showed that shame split, right? mm -hmm. where you, you cut off from the aspect of you that's angry. What we have to accept about ourselves is that we are a, a, basically a plethora of fragmented selves. The best way to think about yourself, each person, is you are a mosaic. That's the reality of your consciousness. So if you are a mosaic, it means that you've got these multiple parts, all with their own often contradictory feelings, otherwise they wouldn't be in a state of separation. Mm -hmm. Lack of self-trust is about the relationship between those internal selves. So let's imagine that you are a part within you, and so is this one. When self-trust is an issue is when the two of you can't take each other's best interests into account. Now, the, you'll see this happening. I gave you that, like, I ended up drunk and pregnant type of scenario, mm -hmm. right? Let's see how that would go. Just, I want you to just sort of role play it, okay? Sure. Okay, so you're the, I want you to be the goody two-shoes. Really? Do you nah. want to be the other one? Nah, it's all right. I can do that. Actually, you be the nun, you're right. Okay, you don't be the goody two-shoes. You're the one that's, that's loving the idea of having sex without protection and getting drunk off your ass. Okay. This one disagrees. So you're going to see how this relationship looks. Okay. Just keep passing the microphone back and forth. Okay. And this is actually happening inside you. I know you know this feeling. If, it's an, if it doesn't translate as like actual words in your head, all of you know this feeling where it's like you're ripped in half in a situation. You need a chassis belt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I want to have sex. <laughs> STDs. Ew. <laughs> it won't happen to me. Nothing ever happens to me. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to have fun. Like, why do we have to be so serious? Because it has consequences. Mm. You're gonna get end, end up pregnant. No father. No baby daddy. No baby daddy. No baby daddy. Um, no baby daddy. No money. Sounds heartbreaking, but people get through that all the time. <laughs> they do. I think I made my point. <laughs> Did I not have a point either? Or no? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. <laughs> do, you, do you trust her? Um, I feel like she's... Sorry, I feel like she's shitting on my buzz a bit. <laughs> like, I just want to be free, live my dreams, you know. <laughs> and you just remind me of my mom. <laughs> Even though she never said those things to me. Because <laughs> when you're a wog, you don't talk about sex. Because you don't have sex until you get married. Um, but yeah, do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Do you trust her? No. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't think about the consequences. Okay, but raise of hand, so I have any impulsive people who relate to this? I want to get drunk. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Um, oh, YOLO, YOLO. YOLO. You only live once. Oh, do you know that? <laughs> she didn't know the lights were on, but no one's home. I don't know. <laughs> Just keeping you in the loop. <laughs> Do 
the mic. Okay, you. G <laughs> yeah. Why do you not trust each other? In this well, we've got different different viewpoints and different perspectives of outcomes. Well, that's a sweet way of putting it. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, I was a baddie. Um. <laughs> You're playing a zero sum game. If she wins, you lose. If you win, she loses. If she wins, you end up at your home wearing your Snuggie. Mm. If you win... I'm having a good time. I get an SUV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but either way, it's an experience, right? <laughs> now I'm playing devil's advocate. Sorry. Do you understand why this does not breed trust? Mm. Say that again. Sorry, I just blanked out. <laughs> okay, zero sum games are where trust go to die. Okay. To trust is to rely upon the fact that someone can capitalize on your best interests. That is the most direct meaning of trust. Do you see how that's not the case? No, I'm not seeing it. I'm sorry. I'm like laughing too much on the inside. I'm not dealing with this properly. <laughs> okay, if you, mm -hmm. you cannot rely upon the fact that this one can capitalize on your best interests. Can you? Well, I don't know her. <laughs> or is that me? Oh, my, <laughs> I've lost myself now. How do I trust myself? <laughs> I'm demonstrating a split. Yeah, there is a split. You want to go get drunk. She would rather you have a chastity belt. Mm. Does the chastity belt have anything to do with your best interests? Well, no. No. Neither does getting an STD for her. No. So you guys have demonstrated that you're terrible at capitalizing on each other's best interests. You cannot take the other's best interest as part of your own. That is the antidote, by the way. Okay. So, so self-trust is about how to take all parts of yourself as part of you, so as to make a decision that capitalizes on all of their best interests. Okay. Safe sex. Yeah, that would be one example. Yeah. Sometimes you can find a wonderful third option like you just found. <laughs> like I what? will have sex with all kinds of guys, but I'm going to wear a condom. Mm. Now that one says, okay, I can trust you. You're capitalizing on my best interest. And you're like, I can trust you too. You're letting me have sex. It's like a happy medium. No. No, I got that wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't want you to think about the happy medium. Did you guys watch my video today? Would you like to know what it is titled for those of you that came here instead of watched it? It's called Fuck Balance. Oh my God, do you know how difficult that is for me? I'm a Libra. I thought that was my purpose. <laughs> Finding balance. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No. I know what you mean, but I've just shot it to hell today, so... Yeah, I know. Cool. I might watch it, though. You should watch it. Interesting. Might watch it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will watch it, Teal. <laughs> <It's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you try to approach this type of scenario, where, where relative to your internal split aspects, if you try to approach that from an attitude of trying to find a happy medium or a balance, What's going to happen is that you're going to ask for compromise. Okay. Neither of them are going to be happy about that. It's like you be in a little bit of pain for the relationship with me, and I'll be in a little bit of pain for the relationship with you. Oh my God, I love this relationship. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's always about finding the commonality. Hmm. Mm. Do you understand what I mean by that? Finding the commonality? Well, no. I think I'm still stuck on happy medium, which I need to really... You need to get the hell rid of I that. I need to... Yeah. 
Well, that, that's clearly something that's like mega programmed in there at the moment, which I will release. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's play with me. Happy medium in this relationship. Okay. Our relationship. Let's say I'm a man. Okay. I'm really interested in you being a wife and mother. The resistance is real. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Keep it, that's what I want. Yeah, so. cool. Happy okay. medium. All right. Oh. I have I'm good at this role. One. Yeah. So you want me to be your wife? Yeah. And play wifey? Yeah. And like cook and clean for you? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit. I shouldn't say that. But yeah. I have resistance to that. <laughs> Happy medium. I'll marry you, but you need to cook and clean. And that feels good to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If I cook and clean for you, you're compromising on kids. I want them now. Are you seeing a problem with the happy medium yet? Yes. I have to really like... <laughs> to be in the relationship, you have to be in a little bit of pain, and so do I. Mm. What the hell is that? Mm. This is why I've been single for like six years. I can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Not based off of that. <laughs> Not based off of that. What's it based off, Teal? <laughs> <laughs> if I thought about the world in terms of happy medium, okay. I would never date a man as long as I fucking live. Okay. Yeah. Do you see why? Because you don't want to be in pain. No. And yeah. there's no reason to be. And it also makes it impossible for you to find someone who's compatible. Mm. When you find genuine compatibility, there is no happy medium. There just is. No, you're going to say, oh. I, want, I want to watch a movie. And they're going to be like, weird coincidence, me too. Not cute. And you're going to say, I so have So you're going to be twinning interest. the whole time. It's, well, you can find relationships <laughs> like that, yes. Yeah. And you'll be like, I don't want children. And he'll be like, oh, actually, I don't either. Okay. It's not going to be one of these, like, leverage. Yeah. With a happy medium, regardless of whether it's a relationship internally or a relationship externally, you set yourself up to destroy the relationship completely. Because if I take a little bit of pain for you, who do I resent? Me. Yep. I like that. Thank you. Hmm. I could have gotten way more in depth with... I would have loved that, but yeah. I think I can read your mind at the moment. Okay. <laughs> What's your takeaway? Um, <laughs> I'm going to be single forever. <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, there's <laughs> fuck balance um, and trust, but don't trust yourself. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Validate me, Teal. <laughs> no. no. Okay, this is what I'm saying, you guys. Like, learning self-trust, learning how to purify these relationships internally and externally, that's the work of your life. Learning how to feel so that you can act on feelings, which is another thing that we associate with self-trust. That's the work of your life. Very important to develop self-trust. Very important also to leave the door open always to the fact that potentially you shouldn't. You see? It's not a contradiction. It seems like it, but many things within this universe that seem to be a contradiction are complementary. You want to know why? I would love to know why. Because you leave the door open for that I shouldn't trust myself in this moment scenario. And you become the person who's the most trustworthy. That's what happens. Do you understand why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're leaving the door open. So there's like, you've got that, there's that polarity. Have you ever dealt with somebody that completely 100% trusts themselves and you know they're wrong? Um... 
Well, who am I to say that they're wrong? Oh, like, no, you really know it. Like, I'm, I'm saying this is, like, pick your expertise. What's your expertise? Ooh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I no one's ever asked me that. Okay, well, the universe <laughs> just came down and said, you tell me what the one thing you are the best at is. What is it? I'm making people laugh. <laughs> Nobody is doubting that. Okay, so let's just go there. I can use that. Let's say that somebody is about to go do a, a um, stand-up comedy skit. Mm -hmm. They tell you, this is the joke that I'm going to go with. I trust myself completely. The audience is going to laugh. And you I know, know for a fact <laughs> that's not going to happen. Yeah. That person probably shouldn't trust themselves right then. Right? Well, I don't know how to answer this because I'm pretty, oh, now I'm going like into so, so much other stuff right now. Like, I'm quite encouraging. So I just let, I say you do you boo. And like, if No, that's fine, but that's a separate subject. <laughs> okay. One of the most terrifying experiences, maybe I'm alone in this, but I'm going to venture that other people agree. I find one of the most terrifying experiences on the planet to be when somebody is completely convinced that they're right. Yeah. Okay. And I know that it's not right. Not like, oh, I know it like I know it. Like, I really know it. But how do you know you know? Because you do know what you do know. What you don't know is what you don't know. Okay. You get that? Okay. <laughs> this is how any expertise works. It's a terrifying feeling. Mm. And most of the wars on the planet are fought on that premise. Mm. So leaving the door open to potentially I don't know, potentially I can't trust, very, very, very safe. I really want everyone to be that safe. So we can stop being so damn dogmatic. <coughs> <laughs> I think I'm done. Yeah, I feel like we're done. <laughs> okay. But I love you. I love you too. Aww. Thank you for the laugh. <laughs> yeah.